Hello everyone. Hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. So finally here it is. The video you are all waiting for. After many requests from you about how I made the wood material in the previous tutorial of the realistic fabric material, it's time to talk about the advanced wood material that 3ds Max imported it to the program in the version of 2019. So that's a start. Okay. So I prepared here a studio file to work on. As we can see the material is set to white. And from here I will try to make the material, the advanced wood material. Okay, so from maps in general, I will add advanced wood just like this. And from here we can see that the advanced wood material have an early wood color and late wood color. With the three options or three maps, a diffuse color, roughness and bump. Okay, so what we will do is the following. First of all, I will set the diffuse color to the diffuse color map, just like this and we can see what happened here for the one who is working in V-Ray you can see in the material a roughness map material but in Corona we don't have this so what we will do is the following I will go here I will go to maps general and I will add a color correction map and I'll attach the roughness to it and I'll attach the color correction to reflection glossiness so that's how I can add the roughness material in Corona last but not least I'll attach the bump material to the bump just like this and just like what I did now I have the wood material is ready to use just like that now what we will do after some playing in the setting of the uh, advanced wood and we'll see now that there are too many presets in the advanced wood so we can choose whatever we want now we will talk about the setting of the adva advanced wood one by one okay so this wood is 3d ash glossy i think you can choose any any preset you want i think let's say 3d cherry glossy you can see how the color is changed okay can we can go for a semi glossy we can go for let's say a 3d walnut glossy i like this okay so this is a walnut wood material just it's ready from the preset in the material itself i didn't import any map any material i did nothing so after you choose the type of the wood you want to use so for for this example we are using the walnut we can go to the general setting okay first of all we can change the scale instead of changing the material from the uvw map so from here i'll make a region and we can change this let's say to two we can see that, that the scale become bigger let's go for five now we can see the scale is bigger than before i'll go for 0.5 now it's smaller so this is how we change the scale of the material you can change it from here or you can change it from the uvw map but i prefer to change it from here so when we use this material we can use it 
at the same coordinates and all the material become same UVW or same scale okay then we will go to change the axis this this texture or this map is set to the Z axis okay I'll set um, another region here okay and I will change the axis to Y now we will see the wood is going towards up for the Y axis and if I change I'll stop I'll make another one and I'll make it to X now we'll see it horizontal lines so however you want your lines or, or the texture of your wood you can change it from the axis in here so we can set it a vertical or horizontal or for the Z axis so it will become just like this and now we can go for the color of the wood material as we can see here we have the early wood and here we have the late wood okay so the early wood and the late wood is here we, we are just using an early wood because the late wood is set to off so we can enable it and now we can see the variation between the colors one is brown and the other one is a little bit orange so here we are making a mix of colors to use to use the wood material and we can change the color of the wood as we want you can pick it from a jpeg from google or any place or you can make your own material from unreal uh, photo you take uh, so let's say I will change it to make it a little bit darker and I'll copy it and put it in the late wood but but I will make it a little bit brighter like this and I'll set it to the x-axis and I will return the scale to 1 as you can see now we are making a good wood material and from here we can increase or decrease the ratio of the groove roughness between the color and the other so we can make it let's say 1 you can try this and you'll not notice the difference by yourself okay I'll keep it 0 0.1 and from here the late wood we can increase the power of the purlin this purlin and the, uh, if we can say the drawing of the wood texture we can increase the power of it from here so it's set to 1.63 I'll set it to 4 I'll try another wood material okay and I now you can see the difference in the power of the late wood we increased the power of the purlin that is used in the wood texture so I'll go to let's say number two this is fine and I think just like this we have a good wood material so you can adjust the power from here as you want and you can make a mix between the color let's say I will use this and make it a little bit darker and just like that I have this material without using any map any texture from my library or anything else okay I will we'll go again to the 3d walnut glossy 
okay and I will use color I will go to this increase the power a little bit just like this and this almost is everything you need to know you can try by yourself the other options you have here for example from coordinates we can change the UVW also let's say this so I change the scale for it and that's all what you need to know about the advanced wood material you can create any material you want just choose the preset from here I'll choose another one Hmm. the mahogany one that's nice just choose the preset from here and change the scale and the axis as you want so I will make it a vertical let's say that axis no the x axis is the best result and we can change the roughness from here I'll make it one okay now I think you can see that we increased the bump or the roughness of the material from here you can change the color let's just for testing I'll make it red and from here you can see the difference I'll make it blue to see that you can change the wood material as you want to any color you want or you need and you have the texture or the effect of the wood from the preset they made I'll undo this that's perfect so we can turn off the another color and just use one color from here we can increase the power of the perlin of the texture let's say I will go for 4 here you can see this is too strong I will go to 2 1.5 I think a little bit better let's go to 1.2 and that's fine and and almost this is what you need to know actually this is the setting that I work with I just choose a preset change the scale use the, the axis that I want and I change the early wood and the late wood we can make another adjustment so we can unlink this make a copy for this and attach the bump this bump to this bump and the same material to displacement and from here you can see that the displacement map made a change in the material so I will go here and make it to 0.2 and from here I will decrease the bump let's say to 0.2 also and I will have a better result but but why we detach this from this and link this bump to this bump whenever we have the same color so from here you can change the color or the power of the late like this the late wood and you'll have and you'll have a separate result for the bump and displacement map rather than attach the same bump material of the same color to the same material so as simple as that you can create your own material your own preset using the preset that Autodesk or 3ds Max made in the advanced wood material now I'll show you the setting that I worked with 
Whoever have the file of the detailed fabric that I posted previously, you can pick the material from here and see what I made to get this result. You can see here I used, I think, the Y axis, here the X axis, and now we'll see it here. So I have a corona material, a normal corona material, and I added the advanced wood just like this. From here, I choose the 3D walnut glossy. I readjust the scale and I used the Y axis as, as I said for this wood. And, and I used this color to make this wood material. So I put it in the early wood and the late wood, the same color, and I increased the power, just like this. And you can see from here I change the Z coordinates. And from here, I made a copy of the material, and I made, I and attached the bump map to the displacement, and you can see if here that I changed the power so I didn't use the same power of the actual material and I made another copy of it and I think I use it in the X axis so here I use it in the Y axis here I use it in the X axis and that's all you don't have to make it a big deal it's so easy just choose the, the correct color you want you can pick it from a, an actual pick of a wood or you can make it by yourself just choose the preset you want from here and change the scale with the right axis or the niciest axis you want and you'll get this result as you can see so this video you asked for now it's served for you thank you so much for your support and your comments please leave more comments in the comment box and tell me what do you want for me to to make a tutorial about thank you again for your support for your likes for your comments i hope you like this lesson and catch you in another tutorial very soon hopefully Thank you very much and goodbye.